I be that young rapping dude, might just trap with you. Coming with the thunder, baby, might just clap your crew. I roll out in the morning light with that Harley bike, all black. I'm the party type, and it's on tonight. I just stepped in no weapons, but my outfit might take your soul. See my presence impressive, got strippers slipping off of poles. I just whip, then I swerve and wish you would. I'm Timmy Turner, turned her to a carnivore. Now she treat me like a burger. I don't know their names, but they all wanna ride. All this energy around me, I feel so alive. This must be the vibe, this must be the vibe. Hey what's up guys, Darkbreaker here and for today's video we are playing the newest hero Lorian which just came out today and let's talk about his skill sets really quick. So for the second skill it's basically when Lorian uses second and third ability and you hit someone you will deal damage, that's pretty much it. You don't need any further explanation. <laughs> yeah that's basically it like it's all about his orb so if you have if you hit someone with the orb you will do additional damage basically and okay oh when you have the orb inside you you will do damage as well so at any point where the orb is it will deal damage so the main skill is the first skill it's here's what I think the first skill and with this skill you can cast your orb and throw it to an opponent for example and then you can recast it two times with the first cast you can change the direction of the orb and with the second cast the orb will return to you and any uh, any target on the way on the path towards the orb between the orb and you will receive damage as well so that's pretty much it and for the second skill you can release a shock wave using the orb so when the orb is within you you will do aoe damage and if the orb is outside someone uh, like the orb is right in front of you you can teleport to the orb and do magical uh, magical damage aoe as well so that's pretty much it so it's uh, pretty much, you can decide whether or not you want to do the orb damage uh, right next to you or further away from you. So they always refer to inside of you. So if you don't shoot the orb out, it's inside of you. And if you shoot the orb out, it's outside of you and you will do the damage outside to the certain target. But the most cool uh, skill is the ultimate Starry Knight after a two second delay. That's really important. After a two second delay, so two second delay, you will do an explosion which will do a lot of damage and create a levitating effect for 1.5 seconds. It's a knockup. It's a knockup. And this knockup is huge in the team fight. But you have to remember the ultimate won't be cast immediately. So the ultimate can be cast within you or where the orb is. So if you shoot the orb and use the ultimate, the ultimate will explode at the orb. Um, destination but you can also activate the ultimate inside of you then you flicker on top of the opponents and then you activate the ultimate after two seconds and you will do a lot of damage also you can use uh, ultimate then you use S uh, S1 to shoot your orb away and then you teleport to the orb with your S2 and then the ultimate will pop off so you have to time the two second delay correctly so that you jump right when the uh, ultimate will detonate so that's really important but anyways that's about the skill sets and let's just focus on the gameplay Okay, we cleared the wave and now we're looking where we can roam basically and there's a fight happening at the bot lane um, Florentino is going to die so let's see what we can do in this situation just trying to poke the tool but we kind of missed 
And Enzo actually tried to hook us, but he can't really do anything. Let's use our ultimate and then flicker on top of this guy and nuke him immediately doing a lot of damage. So that's a combo I really like. And you can also use your AWP for kiting. If you use your AWP, you can jump to the AWP with the S2. So can, you can use this as a kiting tool as well. Not necessary for initiating, but you can juke around using your AWP. Also, when you have enough cooldown reduction, you can use the S1 immediately. What I like to do in the late game is just to spam your S1, 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 three times in a row. So you do all your damage at one spot, at one single target. So instead of moving your AWP around, you just put all the damage in one spot. Shoot the S1, reposition the S1 at the same position, and then uh, pull your AWP back and it will do triple damage at one single spot. That's what I like to do in the late game. And see, that's what I mean with jumping with the AWP, that's awesome. And let's see what we can do here, maybe we can kill this guy. Guess not. Let's just go back. Let's just go back, play it safe, don't die. Maybe Tame will just die here, I don't know why he was not running away. But yeah, we managed to survive and our boy Thane died unfortunately. And since this is... Uh, since this is my second game playing Lorion, um, yeah, it's a standard game still. And this wave play is pretty... Like, if you guys play League of Legends, then you guys maybe know Orianna. And I have to say, his kit is very, very si uh, similar with shooting the orb, pulling it around, uh, using the orb for a long distance shockwave. It's almost the same kit, like very, very similar. You don't have a self shield like you have on Orianna, which gives you movement speed. Uh, instead, Lorian is more self-centered that you want to jump into the team fight sometimes, like this. That's what I mean with the ultimate flicker combo that you can use. Um, obviously, I could have played it better. Maybe if I used my AWP better, I wouldn't need to use the flicker, but sometimes just doing it with the flicker works as well. So, what I meant is you can use ultimate. You start with the ultimate, in 2 seconds it's going to explode, you use your S1 onto the opponent, I guess you probably use S1, S1, and not the S1 to pull it back, then you jump with your S2, and then you detonate your ultimate right on top of the opponent. That's the best combo, and if you, if you don't reach them, you can still flick on top of them with the ultimate, and I guarantee you guys, in a late game teamfight, if you do one good ultimate, it's going to turn the game around completely, doing huge AoE damage and also knock-up. 1.5 second knock-up, that's a long time and they can't really do anything and, jump, and just jumping around is pretty awesome or not. I like it. I like it. I like it. And we jump in and we don't manage to kill him, sadly. Yeah, that's why I sometimes you just need flicker because you get kited. And it's pretty easy to avoid his uh, engage, to be honest. And it's also very easy to just avoid. If you use the long range ultimate, it's not going to work most of the times because two second delay and it's super easy avoidable. And you will see when the ultimate is going to detonate. So, yeah, it's just better to use the ultimate jumping in. Like, obviously, the best case is using it long range, the ultimate. Like, create a huge shockwave long range, not being in range, but two second delay for the ultimate to detonate. It's better to cast it on yourself, and then at the last second you jump in and detonate your ultimate. That's probably the best way to uh, use the ultimate. 
Um, yeah, and for the build, I was actually thinking about Soaring Aura because if you jump in with your ultimate, you're going to nuke them all, and you need that uh, you need that sustain if you guys, uh, if you go, uh, if you want to jump in. If you want to play a poke mage, sure, you can go boomstick, um, penetration, hikatas, and so on. But if you want to be more aggressive jumping in, I think Soaring Aura might be a really good option. Like Barif, Soaring Aura, jumping in, having sustain, uh, you won't die immediately because you have Barif for armor and Soaring Aura. So I think it's great synergy using um, Lorien like that, but obviously people will prefer to go for the poke build just using the S1. But the S2 does damage only if you are close. And the ultimate is very easy avoidable if you're if you're using it long range and the S1 doesn't do too much damage to be honest. So most of the times your damage will come from being in close range, using your S2 in close range, activating the ultimate close range. So in my opinion, Soaring Aura might be the way you want to play him, going for more more tanky orientated a Lorian build. You don't want to be too squishy if you jump in, you won't die immediately. You could also go for Arctic Orb, obviously. Arctic Orb, jumping in, activating Orb, uh, going to nuke them all up. It's a viable choice as well. So Arctic Orb, Serene Aura, I think those two items are also very good on Lorian. Try it out for yourself. I think the game is probably going to end soon. I'm pretty sure the game is going to end pretty soon. We are we already have all tier 3 towers at this point, so looking pretty good for us so far. So anyways, have you guys... Oh, this is a juicy nuke, that's what I mean, and that's what I mean. Anyways, have you guys tried out the newest hero, Lorian? Is it out for your server yet? And what's your opinion on this new hero so far? Do you guys enjoy it? Or do you think Lorian isn't too strong? Uh, at the beginning I was like, Lauren isn't too strong, but to be honest, I think his kit has a lot of potential in teamfights. Okay, Hayate is killing this guy, and I think they are probably going to end this game right here. Ryoma joins the teamfight, and that's going to be the game. Hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay of us playing the newest hero. And if you guys enjoyed this gameplay and enjoyed this commentary, it would be lovely if you guys leave a like. And subscribe to not miss out and to not miss out on any future videos. And I see you next time. Bye bye. Have an awesome day.